What is up, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in to Ben Travels TV. And coming up next, it's about that time as we're in Tampa, Florida for the annual Gasparilla Pirate Festival. We're going to give you guys a tour by boat on Hillsborough Bay for the pirate invasion. We'll also be on foot from the Riverwalk and downtown Tampa for the parade, good drinks, and good food and fun people. So join me for Florida's largest festival with a bird's eye view from a Tampa resident. Stay tuned. <laughs> Alright you guys, welcome back to my channel. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit that bell so you get notified every time I drop a new video. Alright, so I'm leaving the new Tampa area, headed downtown to the Channel District, and I am cruising through Ybor City. It's about 7.30 a.m. trying to get to a parking garage before they get packed, and the 300 plus thousand people embark on the annual Gasparilla pirate festival and parade all right so i was thinking of parking at ebor taking the teco street car down to the downtown area and coming back later after the parade but once i got here i saw that there was really nobody out you had royal rumble you've got the cruise ships here dock you also have a lightning game tampa bay lightning game the same night there are tons of events plus it was the nfl playoffs so there wasn't that many people in the morning right you always have a late crowd that arrives but i didn't want to be in the mess and the traffic because they closed off a lot of streets as well all right so be prepared come early and know the route all right so everything is going to be held in the riverwalk area by the tampa convention center and at curtis hickson park over by the children's museum there's tons of parking garages for you to park and be ready for the event here's a quick backstory and a brief history of tampa's biggest festival and parade All right, we're counting down the days until the big invasion this Saturday. Thousands of pirates will take over Tampa by land and sea for the big Gasparilla Parade. Mm -hmm, that music gets you going, yeah. right? And you may even see some pirates around today before you make your weekend plans out on the water. Law you're enforcement. Bay, maybe you're just visiting. You'll soon understand that pirates and the legend of Jose Gaspar are a big part of who we are. Gasparilla is this weekend the celebration named after the pirate. 10 Tampa Bay's Jabari Thomas dives beyond the headline to show you how Tampa embraces this legend. Tampa Bay has celebrated the life and legend of Jose Gaspar for more than 100 years with a large parade and festival known as the Gasparilla Pirate Fest. 
It's hard to know what's real about the life of Jose Gaspar. Experts seem to believe that he was a Spanish Navy man who turned pirate to spite the government. Mm, true or not, the idea of Gaspar was enough to start Gasparilla in 1904. Ye Mystic Crew of Gasparilla says, it was an event to promote the city of Tampa. There was a secret plan to take Tampa in a mock pirate attack with costumed buccaneers on horseback. A couple of years later, the crew used a ship to capture the city, and the pirate vessels got bigger and more elaborate over the years. In modern times, the crew sailing the only fully rigged pirate ship in the world comes from the south end of Hillsborough Bay, followed by hundreds if not thousands of boats to take over the city kidnap the mayor and demand the key to the city all right you guys it's going to be 80 degrees and clear skies january 27 2024 the gasparilla pirate festival and parade cannot wait to show you guys stay tuned it is a long video guys but i'm going to show you as much as i can by foot by boat enjoy gasparilla guys ready for gasparilla 2024 let's go gasparilla 2024 let's go pirates let's go Right, so I'm walking through the Channel Side District here in Tampa, and I'm over here by Amelie Arena, which is the home to the Tampa Bay Lightning. I'm headed to the Tampa Convention Center because I have to get on a boat for a boat tour so I can check out the Pirate Invasion at 11:30 a.m. I was gonna do the Teco Streetcar, but they weren't operating, and it is past 8:30 a.m., so they were supposed to be running. Not sure what happened there, but I'm glad I didn't park at Ebor because it would have been hard to get back from the channel side district or i could have just took a uber but a lot of these streets are closed keep that in mind make sure you check the updated information all right you guys now you can enjoy the pirate invasion at the tampa convention center they have vip packages where you can get catered food uh food packages drink packages things like that there are tons of boat tours you'll see People bring their yachts out and have big parties on Hillsboro, out on Hillsboro Bay. There are tons of restaurants that are open as well. There's a lot of catering going on, like I said. There are tons of ways to enjoy it. You can watch it from the Riverwalk. Go find your spot. You'll see people camped out in different spots to enjoy the parade and the invasion. I wanted to go by boat so I can show you guys what it looks like from the water. And then I want to jump back down on foot and show you guys what the parade and the craziness sounds like here in Tampa, Florida at the Gasparilla Pirate Festival and Parade. Now, I just want to let you guys know this is going to be a live action video. I'm not going to give any commentary. I'm going to let you guys just hear the sights and sounds from the festival so you guys can know what it actually sounds like and what it's like to attend one. I had to cut out a lot of stuff to keep this video PG-13, okay? I wanna make sure it's family friendly. Enjoy the video, I'm gonna get myself a drink, get myself some good food, and get ready to get on the boat.
perfect. 4K. <laughs> enjoying my time on the boat here we get two free drink tickets and cuban sandwiches and from the looks of it you guys would think this sandwich is from subway because this is definitely not a cubano if you guys are subscribers of mine you've seen my countless videos of cuban sandwiches aka cubanos but anyways guys the party is just getting started and the invasion is getting ready to take place enjoy <laughs> Oh, 
All right, you guys, so this is just more aerial view of the Gasparilla so you guys can see it because I didn't have the greatest view. I had a side view and I only got to see the side of the boat. I was trying to get around everybody, but just couldn't do it. So here's how it looks from Tampa 10 News. If you guys are watching from the Riverwalk or any other location where you can see it, if you have a drone shot up or by helicopter or by plane, however you're watching Gasparilla. But that's just maybe next time I might go on an open boat. It just depends on the weather because this water taxi operates a lot. So it has to take weather into account as well so that they can still operate their tours. Now, I have to say it was absolutely incredible to see the Gasparilla that up close. We were really up close to it. The video doesn't do it justice. Everybody out on the water, having a good time, throwing beads, exceptional time, guys. Enjoy the rest of the video. I will check back with you guys towards the end. Yeah, and some the rooftop, some the
you guys. Unfortunately, this video is coming to a close. Gasparilla Pirate Festival 2024, Tampa, Florida. Man, you have been great. This is why I love the city of Tampa. And this is why I think it is one of the best cities in all the United States. Beautiful city on full display. The people coming together, having a great time, celebrating a festival in the state of Florida on a beautiful hot day while other states are getting snow blizzards, right? It's crazy. But anyways, all the restaurants, all the businesses, all the people, the food trucks to the parade, everybody did an amazing job. I had a blast. Next time I'll bring my family, especially my kids to the kids parade, not this parade. Uh, I would definitely not recommend to bring your younger ones because they will probably see some stuff they shouldn't see at a young age, but to each his own. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. I've done videos on the Riverwalk and downtown Tampa and the channel and the channel district as well. Thanks for watching. Here comes a Teco Street car. I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out.